Yeah. Okay, one of the questions. Yeah. yeah, one of the questions, the stimulant medication is much less effective or even not effective on all problems with executive functioning. Could you explain what makes this problem so resistant to medication? That could e equally have been gone to David. Um, I, I would disagree with that. I think there is quite a lot of evidence that methylphenidate that improves uh, some functions like inhibitory control, it improves timing functions. Um, and I think some of the, the, some of, for example, some of the tasks David showed where it didn't work so well, I think they're also tasks which aren't the most key tasks for ADHD, like the Tower of London planning. I wouldn't be, I, I think there's not that much consistent evidence that that's a key area of dysfunction in ADHD. But as David also shown in his data, it, methylphenidate did improve the gonogo performance. Doesn't it? Is, is this one? Yeah, this one. I mean, I, I think that, um, I think you're right. I think there is evidence, and, and we did find more evidence for, more recently, for um, some reductions in some areas, particularly the impulsivity areas. But I think that there are no good evidence for improvements in some of the areas, um, which are the more cognitive, the less motor, um, less impulsive areas. Mm -hmm. So those bits that might map on to, and I was saying I think there's a difficulty with mapping symptoms with cognitive functions. I don't think it's the whole story. But less evidence for improvement in those parts that you'd expect to map on the inattentive side than you would the impulsive mm -hmm. side. Mm -hmm. Um, and where there is evidence, it tends to come from small studies of open-label medication. And I think the clear thing I found when I looked at the studies was when you start to give the medication blind, the results change. But I think that the, the, my answer to your question would be that this is much more complex than we thought it was, and we've got a lot more understanding to do. And as Katya said, there's very, very few people have looked at the chronic effects of medication um, on anything cognitive or functional or structural. Um, we've just got a lot more work to do there. Mm -hmm.